Hello, everyone. Welcome to the course of water pollution control technology. I am your lecturer, Lu Xiaoneng. Today we will learn the first part, Urban Water Supply System and Drainage System. Section 1, Urban Water Supply System. First, the classification of urban water supply system. Urban water supply system is to ensure the water consumption of cities, industrial and mining enterprises, etc. A system consisting of various structures and water transmission and distribution networks. According to their system properties, they can be classified as follows. The first one is divided by water source type. It is divided into surface water supply system and groundwater supply system. Among them, the surface water is divided into rivers, lakes, reservoirs and oceans. Groundwater includes shallow groundwater, deep groundwater and spring water. The second is classified by water supply mode. It is divided into gravity water supply system, pump pressurized water supply system and mixed water supply system. Third, according to the purpose of use, divided into domestic water supply system, production water supply system, municipal water supply system and fire water supply system. Fourth, according to the service object, it is divided into urban water supply system and industrial city water supply system. In the industrial water supply system, it is divided into circulating water supply system and reusable water supply system. Composition of Urban Water Supply System Water supply system is composed of a series of interrelated structures and water distribution network. The task is to get water from the source. Treat according to the user's requirements for water quality. Then the water is transported to the water using area and distribute water to users. Fig 1 shows the water supply mode with surface water as the water source. Fig 2 shows the water supply mode with groundwater as the water source. Third, the composition of water supply system engineering facilities. The first one is the water intake structure. Water intake structures are designed to take water from selected sources, including surface water and groundwater. The second is water treatment structure. Water treatment structure is to treat the incoming water from the water intake structure. In order to meet the requirements of users for water quality, these structures are usually concentrated around the water plant. Third, the pumping station. The pumping station is used to raise the required water volume to the required height. Primary pumping station capable of pumping raw water separately. Secondary pumping station for conveying clear water. And design the booster pump station in the pipe network, etc. Water pipes, canals and pipe networks. A water delivery pipeline is a canal that delivers original water to a waterworks. The pipe network is all the pipes that send the treated water to each water supply area versus regulating structures. It includes various types of water storage structures, such as highland pools, water towers, clear water pools, etc. Used for storing and regulating water quantity. Section 2, Urban Drainage System. It is a combination of a series of engineering facilities for collecting, transporting, treating and discharging wastewater. It usually consists of a channel system, a sewage plant and a water outlet. First, the classification of urban drainage system. First, the urban sewage removal system. Usually it consists of five parts. The first is the indoor drainage system. Second, outdoor drainage piping system. Three, sewage pumping station and pressure pipeline, IV. Sewage treatment system versus sewage discharge system. Second, the rainwater drainage system. Again, it is made up of five parts. The first is the rainwater plumbing system and equipment of the structure. Two, residential quarters or factory rainwater pipe canal system drainage. Third, the street rainwater sewer system, IV. Flood drainage ditch versus outlet. Three, Industrial Wastewater Removal System The Industrial Wastewater Removal System is also composed of five parts. Internal Piping System and Drainage Equipment of the First Workshop. Second, the Factory Pipeline System and Drainage Equipment. Three, Sewage Pumping Station and Pressure Pipeline, IV. 
Sewage Treatment Station versus Outlet. Section 3, Urban Water Environment. Water is an important part of urban human life and production activities. One of the most basic material conditions. Industrial production, people's livelihood and agricultural irrigation in cities and towns. Development of aquaculture, transportation and shipping tourism and other undertakings. All must be based on the rational development, utilization and protection of water resources. First, the urban water environment system. Urban water environment system consists of hydrological cycle system, composition of water resources utilization system. Second, the urban water environment function. It is responsible for providing water for cities and towns and transporting people and materials. Flood regulation in river basin, agricultural irrigation in suburban counties, ecological construction and ornamental tourism, urban microclimate improvement, replenishment of underground water source, final reception of sewage and other functions. Section IV urban drainage system. It is divided into confluence system and diversion system. Combined system refers to the collection of domestic sewage, industrial wastewater and rainwater. Mixed exclusion system in the same set of channels. It can be divided into direct row type and intercepting type. Diversion system refers to the separation of sewage and rainwater in two or more sets respectively. System of exclusion in independent channels. It can be divided into complete diversion system, incomplete diversion system and semi-diversion system. Among them, the existing sewage drainage system is completely diverted. There is also a rainwater drainage system. Incomplete diversion system only has sewage drainage system. There is no complete rainwater system. Semi-diversion system has existing sewage drainage system. There is also a rainwater drainage system. Set rainwater jumping well on rainwater dry ditch. Pipes that can intercept initial rainwater and street flushing wastewater into sewage. Fig. 1 shows the intercepted river to drainage system. Fig. 2 shows the incomplete diversion drainage system, suitable for water bodies with suitable terrain and surface, a town that can drain rainwater smoothly. Fig. 3 is a complete diversion drainage system. The separation of rain and sewage can be realized. Fig. 4 is a semi-split drainage system. It is mainly suitable for cities and towns with high living standards and high environmental quality requirements. That's the end of the lesson. Thank you all.